Heyo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Blueprint Spotlight. And today's video is the last of the Adventure DLC blueprints. So stay tuned and let's check them out. All right, I'm joined here with the Hot Dog Squad, Web Searcher, and Wix. Hey, -o. howdy. And our newest member to the Missy Good Squad, Chet. Hey, everybody. It's not really a squad right now. <laughs> it's just Missy Goods. <laughs> All right, we're going to uh, check out these creations today, so let's dive right on into it. All right, first up is Boy and a Girl in a Little Canoe by Amori. Very cute. Mm hmm. This little sign. It is. Mm hmm. There's a little song that goes with this that they sing up in Canada. Mm-hmm. Now, what, is this from something, or is it just from the song? Like, are these characters from something? It's like a, like a nursery rhyme or something that she grew up with and thought was common, but... Yeah. Definitely not common. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, nothing's common for Canadians, though. <laughs> but it made me laugh. It's very entertaining. This mm -hmm. is a great build. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Cute. I can already tell it's a Wix creation. The Explorer by Wix. Yes. One of your many airships. Now, how many do you have yep. going on these? I have three of just blueprint, scenery blueprints, and then I just have uh, made the big one with the Missy Ellie. Yeah, I love the rigging. Thank you. Yeah. And you know, I've got two. I've got two airships too, Johnny. <laughs> oh, wow. You don't have any airships, Johnny? What's what's going on there? No. <laughs> I'm going to have to make a Chief Beef one, that it's, and it's going to be like a, a destroyer. A giant one. The size of the park. A crush of little oh. ships. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I can't do this stuff. It's not my forte. It's beautifully detailed. Mm -hmm. It is, isn't it? Great stuff. Thank Wix. You. 10 out of 10. Oh, damn. Rene Fu's Entertainer Point by Libby's. Libby's sure has been giving us a lot of uh, uh, blueprints lately. What's the mm -hmm. elephant trunk up. god? What is he? Does Chant know? I don't know. I don't. Oh. Although, it's not really a trunk, is it? It's kind of like a, a tail. <laughs> he's, he's like a Cthulhu or something. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to push play here. Look at that. Yeah, with some water, I probably forgot to put water there. But, uh, it's all good. It's very quaint and cozy. Pretty. Indeed it is. Like the little bat cave. <laughs> oh, that is cute. Getting some gold. Awesome. Oh, we got some beetles. <laughs> Great stuff. It's a big entertainer point. All right, here we have the derelict detailing by Shox. Wow, look at that rubble. Yeah, Shox is kind of uh, new to the community, and uh, he's just come in right off the bat, giving us all kinds of really detailed work. Yeah, the rebar coming through there, all the rubble looks great. Um, we did a poll in the polls section of the Discord, asking people what kind of blueprint series that they would like to see, and post-apocalyptic and destruction or I think the third most popular so we'll probably be doing this kind of stuff in the next blueprint challenge series it's very cool so keep up yeah, uh, the practice on this stuff very cool mm -hmm. yeah. that's yeah, it takes a lot of patience to get out much rubble I was I was just about to say that it's all the minor detailing here is just yeah mm -hmm. lovely you could even, uh, not that you're going to want to, but you could use those gems for shattered glass all along the floors. Yeah, that would work. <laughs> that's a thought. Uh, Jumanji Ride Skin by Jareen 2. Holy moly. That is a Jumanji sign. Pow. Mm -hmm. That's uh, an amazing thing. You guys can't hear it, but there's a looping sound. It seems like he's got like a sequencer somewhere in there. Um, and it's on loop. It's, you might want to fix that, Jareen. It's just going ooh, ooh, over and over again. I mean, it might, maybe that's intentional, but it may be. But uh, I, I can see if it gets like if you're building right next to it, and <laughs> it would be. 
Yeah. Oh, I hope to see a like Jumanji ride from you soon. Spotlight. Yeah, like Let's hope he makes one. Sorry, Absolutely. Web. I was going to say, I do like the way he tied it all together with the scaffolding in the back, so it looks like bamboo. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Really good job. It's the Clam Box restaurant <laughs> by Rive. It's a cute little building. I like this little realism here. I don't know, with those little steam vent things. It's cool. Actually, it looks the way it should with the bobble. Yeah, it's amazing how people uh, combine these components nowadays in the game to come up with something totally new. Is the Clam Box a real shop? I'd, I'd never heard of it. Hmm. But it doesn't mean it doesn't exist someplace. I was going to say, it should be. <laughs> it's a fun, quaint little shop. Yeah. Alright, here we got the realistic waterfront house by Rive again. Kind of feels like a little house in the swamp. <laughs> Look at the satellite dish. It's made with a hat. <laughs> so creative. Little rocking chair out front. Oh, game's gonna explode. Very nice Rive. And I got another one from Rive, the Beach House Restaurant. It's, it's good to see we're seeing um, some not so standard adventure DLC stuff with the with this one here. Just little touches of it here and there. Hot crabs! <laughs> 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 Sandwiches and subs. I like this uh, little power box with the wires here. Good realism. Yeah, mm -hmm. we don't get to see that very often on builds, do we? Mm -mm. Oh, and look, they even got a septic a septic pipe coming up out of the ground. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that is. All right. Awesome. All right. America Expedition by Woody. It's been a while, Woody. Man, Woody just blows my mind with the way he, he can build. These Jeeps the riding are, are handmade. He is a genius when it comes to the small pieces. Yeah, and the way he's used these basic shapes, because, like, just tipped out the edges of it. Yeah. Mm hmm. Pretty amazing. And, you know, we're drawn to the cars, but even the rock work on this is amazing. That is true. I, really I saw well. him. I saw him ride in Discord the other day, like, uh, I make Jeeps and they give us them in the game afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's like, you're the way better, Woody. Did they give us... Bizarre. What is this, a pigeon? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's a pretty good bird. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Great stuff, Woody. Keep it up. I'd like to see some more stuff from you. X... X hood? How do you say it? <laughs> hood! I like to just... Okay. Wait. Hood! <laughs> Ex it's the Buddha, it it's the Buddha like guy again. Or something. <laughs> I I think that is a Hindu god, but I'm not certain if I remember the name. I, right, I, I think. Yeah, I, I definitely I think agree there. Ganesha. Ganesha. I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Someone's working the Google. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> Love the, the gears on this. Right? Yeah, on the web search, there you go. But this is cool. Mm -hmm. Loving all the mechanical gears. Yeah, like right? The ride go. Yeah, there's a lot, we've seen a lot of really good ride skins out of this uh, pack because of these gears. It really, it sells the immersion factor. I love it. I like the compactness it has. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's great. It's very neat. Mm -hmm. Very neat yeah, it's so hard to keep this ride into a small footprint. So mm -hmm. they did a great job. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Full Metal Kraken, <laughs> created by Combat Wombat. He's got the ace in his <laughs> the ace Leave of spades. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. uh. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Um, one thing is it me and you chant talking about it. Or is a floss? Yeah, floss. Um, I th we we didn't have a poll for this, but um, one day people were making krakens like this. I think Combat started it. I had a whole link of list of them, and I saved them all. And actually, everybody removed them from the workshop. But we had like Harry Potter krakens, and like <laughs> we we had some amazing. We had the Pokemon trainer kraken. Uh, there's some amazing ones. So that it got. Uh, 
floss it's, went it's, and did like a female kraken and it was pretty amazing so we thought you know what maybe what we'll do for one of these blueprint series just to throw it off course a little um, do an entire episode of who can decorate the best kraken like this this one reminds me of like a rambo version you know? yeah <laughs> for sure that's amazing yeah, this is awesome <laughs> i love the flame turns. yes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he means business <laughs> we gotta do a kraken challenge <laughs> 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 it's the Tiki Cheeky Trash Can Skin by Wookie Bush. It's it's actually quite That's, good. That is good. Yeah. And we saw from his shop, he also did the the benches. I was like freaking out. Oh yeah, those stools. The stools. The yeah. Yeah, those were amazing. What I would do, they, they, um, they... To, to note to Wookie Bush, make your trash bin, your bench, your stools, and maybe even your lamp posts. Come up with as many tiki cheeky memorabilia stuff as you can and have that as your workshop upload so i can come in here and they're all separate objects and i can i can you know that that should be grouped as well with like a little cube under the ground and if they were yeah. if they're all their own separate objects in one big blueprint because obviously these are only 20 pieces so you can you could do a whole bunch of them and have that as your screenshot your thumbnail and then whoever puts it down they're like okay i need a tiki cheeky trash bin over here a bench over there they can grab them without having subscribed to like 20 things i think the kits is a really good idea for this kind of stuff I am really impressed that he set it on fire because you never see him empty the garbage cans. They always just pack everything down. So <laughs> this makes sense. Now we know how the garbage really gets to disposed of. True. Oh, we right. just burn it off in the park. The bo booty, <laughs> the booty tree by Steadfast Fire. Or he said he named it B O D H I. The <laughs> booty, <laughs> B body. <laughs> Bodie? Bodie? Yeah, maybe. I like the first pronunciation better, though. <laughs> I'll make up words as I go. <laughs> Everyone loves decorating the Monte Leon. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. How many times did we see that in the scenario contest? I, th I, I think for the newest ride in the game, it has to be also the ride that has the most ride skins already. That's a good point. <laughs> Um, it is quite easy to come up with concepts for it, though, right? It just spins Not around and around. One. <laughs> well, it's nice that the angle that it sits at, too, gives yeah. you uh, yeah, a, good presentation. a nice display of the ride. That thing, yeah. I have never seen that before. <laughs> the, uh, the ones that we have in my local theme park do not do that. I thought that was so weird when I saw that. Isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, I haven't seen one in real life either. I, I think I have seen. I don't know. I think so I've seen weird. one, but I've, I've ridden like four or five of these. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, the Buddha statue by Spiral Guy. That's cool. Yeah, he made he made a few of these monuments, haven't he? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I take my hat off to anybody that can do face face work with the sculpture on this game. Yeah, it's pretty it's good. Yes, it's quite striking. It's a good piece. Yep. Mm -hmm. Great piece in the park. Yeah. Really well done. Loving the gold trim. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Holy moly, what do we got going on here? It's the Temple Run by Noob Slayer. Uh, I like the concept. I, I wish it was more built into something, though, right? Everything, you definitely got to put this down and build it, build it around it yourself. Okay, should we try this? Should I go for it? I was gonna say, Johnny. Okay. Uh, Johnny, I'll stand here to the side and I'll let you run down. We're all rooting this for you. Yeah. Go for all it. Alright. One, two. You guys tell, you me can if do I, it, Johnny. You guys tell me if I get hit. I'm waiting for my opportunity. They're staggered. It's not fair. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! 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 I got hit by the blade! Oh, I didn't make oh, it. Well. At the end, I panicked. Johnny 5 alive is dead. Johnny 5 is oh. no longer alive. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, I can slip uh, through here Johnny, and wait, right? Johnny's favorite last words. Hey, y'all, watch this. Nope, nope, nope. That's not a good time. <laughs> Go! Oh, God! Nice. No! Yes. That's a trap no. at the end. You can't get through this. It's impossible. <laughs> oh, here. Oh, God. Yeah, that last part's a death trap. That's a sentence. Kind of fun, though. 
That is a lot of fun. <laughs> Flora Sundial Ride Skin by Tri40. Is that the right one? Oh, it is a sundial. Let's push play on this thing. Oh, cool. Whoa. What is it? Uh, a portal to space. Whop. Yeah, it's huh. pretty cool. I like it's it. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Neat concept. It's like sci-fi Aztec temple. Well, they got guns on their heads. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> kind of like uh, uh, what was the name of that television Aztec. show? Was it Stargate? Yeah, Stargate. Stargate. Yeah. <clears throat> That's neat. Mm -hmm. Quite a fun ride, skin. I always see this uh, ride as a challenge, either way, which kind of rides. Oh, yeah. For it. I think the best one I saw was the, was that the ball wrecker or whatever? The wrecking ball, yeah. The wrecking ball. Yeah, that was so good. That was awesome. That was great. Very memorable. Mm hmm Awesome. Oh, did Wix make this? <laughs> um, Dante's Trios by Wix! Nailed it! <laughs> hey! <laughs> You evolved from cabins to tree cabins. Yes, you know me. <laughs> oh, I like I like the. Uh, is this like uh, their source of power? The little windmill. Yeah, he, he, it's like he. he yeah, and then that's the generator. The yeah, that's cool. His airplane is behind the tree. Little air hatch. So you crashed out in the middle of the jungle. Built himself yeah. a really nice home and decided to take parts off the plane to make it functional. Yeah, the train is uh, train, the the airplane nice is behind the house. Survivor Man. Ah, oh. that's cool. This is gorgeous. How long does it take you to build something like this? Hmm, maybe I don't know, two days or something, like ten Ooh. hours maybe. Two days, ten hours. Damn. That's quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it would take me a week. Very nice, Wix. Thank you. Hashtag Treehouse Club. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Mech Warrior Hippo by Dead Eye Duck. He's been going ham with this stuff. He also did the Mech Warrior Cosmic Cow. I suspect an animal war is about to break out. Uh, Don't disappoint uh, me, Dead Eye Duck. Duck. He's, he's, yeah, he's got a great sense of humor. He did the uh, Cosmic Cow spaceship, and then he's done um, uh, a, a Land Rover now. So I definitely want to see a war park spotlight. War of the Animals. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be a friendly, hungry, hungry hippo game. Now they have mechs. Yes. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the next it's generation of children. Hungry hippo. <laughs> evolved. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hungry, hungry, destructive hippo. That's mm. great. Uh, <laughs> love it. That was so good. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> uh, I'm losing track here. This is a, a drunken tropical burger. <laughs> Pink champagne. That's the Missy Goods champagne, right? No, nothing. Chocolate nose. Has it got a pizza tongue? Uh, is that what that is? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, well, that's kind of fun. He's a little drunk. That's great. If, if he was truly drunk, what I would have... Uh, wait, why can't I select this? What's going on here? Take uh, I hate it when the game does this, right? If you delete one... There we go. Gonna move one of the eyeballs. <laughs> there. Perfect. Oh, my goodness. Uh. That's great. There we go. Adventure Plaza, created by Jaku. Oh, sorry, terrible rotation on my part. Ah, oh, the plane stuck in the tree, burning. Whoa! Jesus! No. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little too close. <clears throat> so he said it was a plaza, so you come in here and you buy some stuff. Was there a shop? Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, oh, the bathroom. In. Oh, oh, and the bathroom. french fries? Tacos. Of course. Snake tacos. <laughs> Holy moly. What do we have here? Standalone cooling towers by Amori. What are we making an Aztec power plant? Isn't that just a pyramid? Well, no, that's that's a... Uh, 
that's a that's a cooling stack at a at a nuclear power plant. That's the way they make them at the bottom. I I, I guess you guys didn't watch like the uh, uh, the mysteries of the pyramid. Some scientists believe that the pyramids were ancient power plants. Oh yeah, I do I do remember seeing that one. Yeah. So that's why I said yeah. that. Isn't this just a, nah. supposed to be a pyramid? <laughs> Well, she made a coaster that goes with this as well. Holy moly, yeah. does that ever lag on my computer? The smoke. Yeah, that stuff does uh, pull you down uh, frame rate wise. That's cool, though. It's very good. I don't want to be the one climbing those stairs. <laughs> no, at least they're not vines. <laughs> Even if they pay you $80 an hour? Yeah. yeah you no. still don't want to climb them? No way. Volcano Centerpiece by Jato Melson? M Melson? It's a cool little hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it's got a lot of lava in it. There was a whole bunch of pathing instructions that I missed. Um, so apparently, yeah, if I can undo that. It's just got paths running up and around. So it's kind of like a, a decoration piece that you plop down, your guests kind of walk through it, right? Oh, well, that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's very interactive. Yeah. <laughs> Lava Java. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like that. Great. It may be boiling hot. <laughs> Caution. Yeah. yeah. McDonald's has nothing on us when it comes to the heat of our coffee. <laughs> I think he burnt his hand drinking coffee. <laughs> that's that's the workers there. Their hands look like that. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, the Dicker by Wix. The Dicker. Yes. Some airships. Wow. Let's turn this thing on. Yeah, it's actually a clock. Yeah, that was my. Oh. That's pretty cool for a flat ride. It's, it's going the wrong way though. He's rewinding we're, time. Yeah, we're yeah. Beat me to it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's the time traveler's machine, right? Mm. You get all the Roman numerals. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Tons of good detail. I like the crookedness of all the buildings wedged together. Yeah, I love it when people uh, turn the buildings at different angles. Mm-hmm. Thank you, guys. What's the part count on this thing? Oh, wow. Felt like more. I actually think the right goes both ways. Oh, there you go. You yeah. can actually set it. You know that, right? Can I? Um, where is it? It's yeah, it allows you to. You could I just, never look at the yeah, rotations you, you down. You could just do forward them. spins if you want. Oh, OK. Yeah, I could probably have done it. But I like the idea that it's going backwards, rewinding time. Because this Me kind of contraption feels like the time traveler's uh, thingamajig. Yeah, steep, steampunk time traveler mm -hmm. creation. Um, or Arboreal Air Chase by Dr. Sheep. Holy moly. Look at all the hedges used for this grass. Oh, that's a lot of work, too. <laughs> yeah. That. yeah. We know that, right, Whip? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you and I both have done it. Yeah. I like the big tree. I, I kind of like this. It fits well with the new uh, airplane. It does. Yeah, it does. It's a great use of the adventure pack stuff. Very clever. I don't think we've re seen anyone come back and use this ride. Like, this is the first time. And, yeah, yeah. the planes per work perfectly, right? <laughs> but have you noticed we always crash the planes in this game? We never <laughs> have them sitting at an airport or anything. That's true. It's because all, all the propellers are bent. Getting ready to take off with those propellers. I don't know. It's a great build, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it. Oh, of course. <laughs> the crock roast by Floss. Oh, I think we're going to see them all here. Yeah. So th oh, good. these are the shops that she used for her scenario. The crock roast. So we could we could wrap her rapid fire through these. The next one would be. The Beetlejuice. Oh, I, you know what? I don't remember seeing this one. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> That's so gross. I love it. 
Yeah, I don't remember seeing this one either during the competition. That's a really good. Maybe it's something she made for her starter kit, maybe. Maybe. I think so. It's just the, sick. The, it's wonderful. The, the bat burgers on the grill yeah, this is and on the sticks. <laughs> oh, These they're are ingenious. They are. They're and, wonderful. Where's the last one? Oh, it's got to be over here. Oh, we didn't see this one. Scorpion snacks. I don't remember that one either. Huh. And then this was my all-time favorite, the snake shakes. Just grinding that snake out. He just looks terrified. Ah! <laughs> it does kind of roll off the tongue, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, I just like how she used the, the, the drippy slime stuff to go into the bucket like that. It's just such a clever idea. Um, in, act, in the actual scenario, there was a snake pit, too, which was great. I love these shops. Great for the adventure jungle. I mean, safari parks. You know, we see a lot of the adventure jungle stuff, but we don't see a lot of the safari aspect. You know what I mean? Because there is a yeah, difference we, between the two. Oh, yeah. If we had more thatch roofing, it would help a lot for the mm -hmm. safari yeah, stuff. But, uh, yeah, the, the use of the, the colors on the buildings make, mm -hmm. make a big difference, too. What's this? I to just quick turn. Yeah, I really don't know what it is, but uh, yeah. <laughs> is it a? <laughs> oh, I know what it is. It's, a, it's, 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 it's yeah. yeah, that's a that's a floating television. Okay. Uh, I was gonna say everyone make their guesses. Um, it's an anti gravity powered TV, no DLC. Just so you know. A holographic <laughs> okay. TV. I get it. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> no more. All right. No more. No more having to put them out on the wall to put it's your cool. television up. That's really cool. You, you might like burn house. your house down, but that's yeah. all right. Worth it. All right. And is this the last one? Small Tree Village by Matt Yorshin. I still see more. Oh. Okay. There is more. Yeah. You added on. All right. Tree Village. Very colorful for a tree fort, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, that is Miss cute, Miss Red Nebula must have got in here. I guess you guys don't know the reference yet. Sorry, <laughs> Golfy's playpen. I oh, look at the uh, what is it called? The bird. Toucan. Toucan. The little toucan sand. I would maybe have added some more uh, foliage <laughs> below the, the platform. What do you say? So it's just more junglish. So if you fall off, you have a better, softer landing. That too. <laughs> yeah, m more rails and stuff. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to visit some place like this in real life. So Definitely. much fun. It's like a mm -hmm. grown-ups playground. <laughs> Is yeah, this two blueprints? Just yeah, just before uh, he, uh, Artario, he submitted like a ton at the end, but it was so small blueprints, the other one next. So uh, this is two different ones, but I just... Okay, so for 32, we got Deadly Gold 1 and 2. Yeah. Now, my, my only problem is, isn't the lava going to melt the gold? I don't know. Right? Yeah. What's, what's, the, 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 what's the boiling temperature of gold? Definitely <laughs> it's lower than that. that <laughs> the webs are chart. <laughs> Get on it. <laughs> Look at that golden chicken. <laughs> <laughs> chicken warrior. He's going to take on the hippo mech. Melting point of gold. <laughs> uh, 1,064 Celsius. 1,064. And what is the temperature of molten lava? <laughs> Between 700 and 1,200 degrees. Oh, so it's going to make it. Celsius. Maybe. So. Or wait. It can go anywhere from 1300 to, well, yeah. 2200 Fahrenheit. Yeah, 700 to 1200 Celsius. So that's lava. So it's melting. Yeah, I kiss it goodbye. Yeah. Yep. Admire yeah. it while it's here, guys. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> I still like the idea of the, uh, oh, wait, it's a um, peacock. I didn't realize that. It's a really nice. Uh, it really is. I like the idea of the peacock taking on the hippo. Lava peacock and hippo mech. Battle it out. 
All right, what Did do we have here? Did you say who made them, John? By the way, the gold ones. Oh, it was Artario, but the last one, I think. Okay, yeah, yeah this is this is also this is all, also Artario. But I put oh. them all together because the, he he has a collection where all of them are together, but he just posts every link. Yeah, Look separately. at the monkey; he's got a little goatee. <laughs> oh wait, no, that's his lips. Okay, I see now. Whoa. Those are cool. Elephant! Ooh, I like this one. Staglomites for the husks. Is this a giraffe? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. Uh, have you guys ever watched giraffes on YouTube have a neck fight? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a must watch. They just whip oh their heads god. at each other. <laughs> oh, that peacock. That is good. Yeah. Oh, it's a peacock. I thought that was one heck of a chicken. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, these are awesome. Great job, Arterio. Is this part of the last set, or is it a Mexilente Adventure Blueprint by Jaku? Didn't we see this in the last episode? I feel like we did. I, th I think one that was... Similar pretty to much, it. Yeah. It's quaint. It's a pretty good decorated one by one shop. Mm -hmm. Not Go too bad. Uh, scenario. Yeah, mm -hmm. it worked perfectly along a park path through the jungle. Mm -hmm. And our last one is the Forbidden Temple Ride Skin by Dodger. I'm not sure about how I feel with that house roofing, though. No. Feels a little out of place. All in all, cooking them all. <laughs> yeah, I think they're gonna lose all their gold fillings and gold rings. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do like that he like made a, like a hole kind of thing so yeah he framed it a bit mm -hmm. yeah I kind of like that I do too oh, yeah my. <laughs> just need to be worked in a little bit differently I think it's a cool concept boom and there you go everybody that's all 35 blueprints and that's going to do it for the adventure dlc uh, series and we're going to be moving on to our challenges now we got the western challenge going we got a video game challenge going and um what else is there we still have the planko stuff maybe we'll do a kraken soon so lots of good blueprints still yet to come guys and uh, that's going to do it for this episode thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for joining me here today you're welcome oh, happy to be here happy to have you part of the team champ thank mm -hmm. you Thank you very much. <laughs> Welcome aboard, oh, Missy fun. Goods. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye now. Bye now. Bye now. Bye. We did it. <laughs>